Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am you are, and this is more room. We're gonna start off with some breathing. Shouts out to Haru on the track. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. That's a good one. See this this right here. When I hear it, I think yeah, just getting mm. so yeah. So this right here it was in the saw it in a dream probably about a month ago. So we wrote it down. Just the way uh So, so we were watching a video the other day by Devon the Black Airbender and he was speaking on uh, eye movement meditation for your breathing so this area over here you will start in the middle right. and you will move your eye to the right corner on the inhale and on the exhale we're going up exhale to the top right corner and inhale across taking your eyes slowly to the bottom left and exhale up to the top now. You take your eyes there every single time. This way, then you come down through this channel, through here, and back up, and back down. And we do that three times. Then once we have done that, We'll end up right back here where we hold. And we inhale, going to the left. Well, we inhale, going to the right. Hold, then exhale back to the middle. Inhale, going to the left. Hold, exhale, coming back to the middle. Inhale. Hold, exhale, coming back down to the center. Inhale. And coming back to the center. Mm hmm I'm sure there's something there, metaphysically, spiritually. We, yeah. Hmm. I hear children. Let's pause for a second. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. We back, we back, we back. South, south, to the family. To our Aunt Pam, as well as her grandmother, Hattie. And to my mother, Edna. Our jobs are not done here, so we're still here. So while we're here, let's do what we're here to do. So on that no. Let's get it. Mm. Those who have 
interested themselves in the uh, vibration of colors. You can use a color along with your eyes. You want to pull up on your perineum on the inhales, the holds. The holds also uh, assisting with the instant gratification programs that we've uh, we've run on comfortably out of survival as well. Hmm. What else? What else? What else? On the inhales, let's go to a count of four to six, somewhere around there. I ain't trying to rush shit. This is a slowly moving, you know what I'm saying? So the exhales would be six to eight, maybe up to 10. The holes would be around six to eight counts. Um, Whatever your level of holding, inhale and exhale, let that be what it be. It's three seconds, four seconds, whatever. Sure, you don't even need to count if you don't need if it, if it ain't if it's fucking with you that much. Fuck it, don't count. Just inhale with intentions, exhale with intentions. Just let that shit flow, goddamn. But so, any wells. Uh, if you're feeling any um, extra strain in your face, head, neck region, in your crown area, temples. Yes, that's exercise. I will say, you know, we ain't overdoing it. Same way as you got dumbbells. If this was your first time using dumbbells in five to 10 years, you would come out here and do four sets of 20 with 25s and 30 pounds and then expect your next four days to be like nothing happened. Nah, it ain't. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, we're working it in. So this is a practice that you're tuning to yourself for days, weeks, months. So then it, it becomes um it activates and it's, it's in your DNA, you know what I'm saying? And you just flow with it. So you can see everywhere. You won't always have to move your body to see what's going on in the corner of your eyes. And as well as when you're meditating. Because when you're meditating, that pineal popping signals are flowing in. They're coming in from the corners. Those lights are moving from the center all the way over to the corner. So you have a wide, a wide range of space. And we're just exercising that space. So let's do that. We're going to pick this shit up on the way. Do what you do. You get everything you need on the way. Well, fucking need. So we'll begin with the inhale to the right corner. Right low corner. Upper right corner. Lower left corner. upper left corner down again to the lower right corner up to the right corner upper right corner crossing down you know what i'm saying hey if you yes we see the butterfly we see that in there but we also uh we're hitting a figure eight we're hitting an infinity signal right here come on now don't fool yourself now Got the infinity going. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. 
Ja. Det är så var. Då blir det. Det är så här. 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 So, how do you feel? Keep your shoes on, shoes off. I don't give a fuck about that. So you be sitting your ass on the goddamn couch, honestly. What are some, if there's some ways that you do things to keep yourself, uh, what you call it? If you gotta get down and dirty, you know what I'm saying? You got to sit in the lotus position and sit here and sit there. Hey, if it work, it work. Do what you do. Sleep with me. I'm just bringing myself up. Because you don't want to trick yourself into thinking that you have to be in a certain position, a certain state of mind. Um, As if, if you don't get to that certain state of mind, you never had it anyway, and it doesn't work. Mm. Be able to meditate with nothing. <laughs> Be able to meditate with music, without music, with tones, without tones, in the shower, sitting down, laying down, full stomach, empty stomach, on the way to the store, crowds of people in the middle of a hospital, everybody yelling, everybody silent. Everybody mad, everybody happy. Good day, great day, bad day, fucked up day. All of it. All of it. All of it. All of it. You can move to all that shit. Being that bitch like that. Hmm. <sighs> Mm. <laughs> oh, deep exhale. Slowly inhale to the right corner. Inhale. To the right corner, exhale. Um, the inhale to the left side, well, the right side.
Right there. Hold. Allow your breathing to adapt, adjust, acclimate, activate. Slowly open your eyes, goddamn. All right, so shit. Now you ready? Go ahead and into your shit. Now that was just uh, so you like me like I. Like with me, I just can't like do some shit like that and then be like, okay, let's go back and you know, let's go back into the classroom or let's go back to the bullshit. Like, nah, I got to grab myself before I get up out of here because I'll be up there. I'll be like, shit. So, and until we meditated and did some nostril breathing, different exercises, access, you know, states of consciousness that we didn't know that we had. We didn't know that. That's that whole, man, I don't want to come down. Like you go to a football game and you're so excited. But you got to be around other excited people because if not, then it's like, what's going on here? So, it's cool. Shouts to... Uh, I grew on the track. Shouts to Devon, the Black Airbender. Matter of fact, we can go. Oh, all right. So we need to do this. Let's take. Let's just do a screenshot and then we will clear. Oh, you know what? I'll save it. Let's say, there we go. Now we clear. I'll just do that. All right. What are we going to do? We've been in these words, man. These words. The dreams have been dope. Um. Devon, the Black Airbender. So. Send. Send one of these shorts. It's a short that he has. Where is it at? I won't find it. It's over here. It's not far. Oh. I thought it was on here. Well, we probably watched it in our... I think he's... Ah. Ah, here we go. This is it. So... I guess we'll have to watch it and then get the code or something and then attach it there. But this is the video. Look down at the corner. On the exhales, you would gaze up to the corner. Yeah. 
<sighs> I think that's about it. We've been reading Sacred Sounds by Chance using our using what we've gotten from the Tony using our voice using our instrument like for real for real the herbs that we're using using the tone of those herbs finding it Like, what is the tone or the vibration of whatever we're doing? You know what I'm saying? Your self healing. The more you get in, the more we've uh, dove into our self healing and literally seen the results of it. Whether it's the signs and symbols in our dreams, signs and symbols in our waking life. Um, People that we meet, the names that we meet, the energy of the names, the energy of the people that we're meeting is being reflected back to us. The feathers that were every day, every day, every day we're going out, man. It's a, it's another feather. Whether we at the racetrack, 40 miles over here, we down in Charlotte, whether we up in Vermont. It's like, are we looking? It's all here. But it's like, are you looking wherever you go? Are you looking for home? Are you at home everywhere you go? For me, am I at home? Never where we go, we find the feathers. Like, yeah, you home everywhere you go, man. So, you know what I'm saying? You're never on the road. So just using these sounds and these tones. And then... Knowing that you can do that, practice with it, and using it on, on ourselves for, you know, for your own name. Uh, the people that you know. <clears throat> and for the people that we have set up to be godlike, and it's like, wait a minute, are you singing their name every time? Because there may be someone or something, or an entity and energy that is quote unquote causing some problems, right? I was like, all right, how often are you singing their praises? How often are you creating songs about them? How often are you creating a stereotype about them, creating their archetype that they're this, they're that, they're this, they're that? So, like, of a 40 year old version, you know what I'm saying? When I was in the club, I always was like, hey, you're building the pussy up. You're putting the pussy on the pedestal. Pussy liar. And you so like you put it up here, and you get so nervous about it, and so afraid that you don't even want to conquer it because now it's not even down here. It's up here. It's, it's something outside of you. Then of course, you know you do that, and it leads into the drunk bitches, and then the car scene. So you know you usually have the, you know the higher self speaking. And then it's like, all right, you motherfuckers go do your low vibrational shit. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some some high octane shit. I'm gonna give you some high spiritual shit that you can fuck with. You can use, but this is for my niggas and the rest of y'all. Y'all can go get the drunk bitches and do that experience and get thrown up on and shit. Hmm. Movies. Anyway. But yeah, these are useful um, when we are talking to our herbs, communing, fuck talk, communing, communicating. So, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you're humming your tones, you're toning your voice, you're toning your vibrations, your chakras, you can put in tone and tune in with your herbs. You can tune in with your crystals. The same way. Selena. Selena. 
No, of course. Where, where are we at? Because the pronunciations are in here too. Ah, here we go. Now it's not for everything. Like this is just one book. So there's more out there. Sell a the E H sound. A the throat. Sell -a. Throw it again. In the butt. So effects of the energy when we're humming. Selenite. I I the medulla oblongata. So we're hitting that shit right there. Balanced brain function, mental clarity, mind over emotions, intelligence of the heart, speaking from the heart, using your heart, following your heart. We're not talking about that shit. Broken bitch. We're not doing that shit no more. We good. Is you healed or not? God damn. All right. Eh, say, la, say. That throat, respiration, mouth, trachea, creative expression, clear audience. We got dreams. We got protection. Like we got cleansing. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Purple crown. Like Selena. Selena Quintanilla. Play that music when you hold that cell night. She rock with you in them dreams. Don't don't no, hey 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 hey. God damn, we've already we've already been there. So I pass on to you as well. So yeah, this that's the shit that you hitting just like that. Mm. You know, so especially uh, with any word, you don't get that Sanskrit etymology. You know what I'm saying? See, listen to the pronunciations of certain words and phrases, even getting the origins of it as well. And just work with what you want to work with because you want to go with the uh, you want to break it down to its um, most single form, its most purest form. And the more you practice, you will get it. This ain't this because we started what three, four years ago on goddamn the seven vowel sounds, Liz something on YouTube. The seven vowel sounds. I did that shit for. We're meditating on that like two, three times a day for a while, months. Almost a year. And then. The more we got into it. Meditations, books, sigils. You know, we go and get, on, go and get it. Dr. Lee Mel Bay come through, right? And then it's like, all right. That sinking link. So it's like, all right. And it's like 10 sounds. And then. Um, Qigong sounds. I'm like, oh, okay, there's more. You know, so every single time you'll pick up what you need on the way. This isn't uh you do something, oh, you did it wrong, or that's for those type of people, or that's this is for the melanated beings. Well, nigga, if you don't know what that shit is, then you just gonna be on some shit till you got to move to the other shit. So you at least have a reference. You got to have a reference. And we weren't getting fucked up by doing them seven vowel sounds no ways neither. So, so now we on the 10. So we can move. And, and there's more. I'm sure there's more. God damn, there's always more. There's always more. There's never going to be a cut and dry. This is this. This is that. That's what it is. Point blank period. Either or. Nothing over that. Nothing in between. Nah, fuck all that. Still. Hold on. I think that was an egoic rant, but either way. So using these tones, um, what are we? What is the tea we're drinking now? 
the herb we're drinking now is mm. Mm. valerian root all right so if you're drinking valerian root right now you just want to go with valerian right or they want to go a little deep because you, you're going to be researching information anyway. So you go Valerian. What's the herb loss? What's the ruling planet? So you got the Mercury. So that's information. You got the Gemini and the Virgo. Oh, that shit. So it's like, all right. What's those angles to assist so we can boost that shit so we ain't got to be in that shit no more? Because I no longer want to class my, classify myself as a planet, an angle, none of that shit. I ain't got time to be stuck down here no more. All of it. I got to come up all of it. Because there will be a day where we don't log on to none of this shit. Where I don't log on to none of it for anything. I won't have to, won't need to. But if I do, it'll be all right. But just knowing that if I don't, we have our heart and mind. We have our imagination. And we're good. But anyway, at this moment, get this info while it's here. So you're just looking, reading some background information of what you're drinking. You know what I'm saying? So if this is one of those sedative sedatives i remember that word to assist with your sleeping nerves those sorts of things communication so you can commune mm. so the body systems that are conduits for communication Central nervous system, the endocrine, the respiratory. So you can breathe easy. So when you are doing your breath work, you're in a more calm state with the flow of the heart. And we're just going to keep going. Okay. All right. So. In our dreams, I think last week, week and a half, one of our, one of our come throughs came through. She came through. Yes, she did. And it'd be so dope with the dreams, man. I'm sure it is for you as well when you decode yours. Um, and of course, with the decoding, we're laying in our light. As soon as we wake up, Keep our eyes closed and let that pineal pop and paint our pictures, ask our questions, if, when, whatever we need. What was going on in the dreams that we can decode? What's the signs and symbols of our dreams? What's the signs and symbols that's coming through for today? What's our energy for today? <laughs> what happened last night? Getting that breath in there. Um, there are chants that you can do in the morning as well. Round, gown, round, gown. I was like listening to those the night before. So visualizing, writing your dreams down when you wake up, visualizing remembering your dreams, visualizing the feeling of, oh man, or even if it's just one thing, like, you know, you had three separate dreams last night, but it's like five. Sometimes it'd be like, God damn. Like, hey, sometimes the kids wake you up before you wake up. Sometimes they, someone starts speaking before you even get the, like, hey, it'd be like that sometimes. But hey, you still have time to breathe. You still have time to go shower if you need to. You still have time to 
and walk outside, take them shoes off and walk in the goddamn grass. Maybe you have a tree around. You can touch one of them motherfuckers. Maybe you got a plant in your house. Say something. Go in the bathroom. Turn that water on. Let that be your wake up. What do you want? So, the word juice came through. So, and I'm like, juice. Juice, juice. You know, I'm thinking of the movie Juice. I'm thinking, of, you know, we just gone grocery shopping, so nigga got some juice, drank some juice. <laughs> All of the drink juice like that, but we drank juice. Um, you know, juice got that kid feel to it. You know, Capri Suns and shit like that. Uh, I was like, well, shit, maybe this will take me back to a memory of when we were drinking juice, and it was great. And some trauma that's ready to come up and ready to be dealt with so we can move the fuck on in our spiritual journey. So I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Appreciate it. Juice. Then we look at the numerology of juice. Juice is the 10th letter, which is one. This is three, so this is 21st letter. 18th letter, third letter, fifth letter. So you got the one plus three, which is four, four plus nine, 13, 13 plus nine plus C, 13 plus three, 16, 16 plus five is 21, 21 plus two plus one is three. Now we're back to the three. Communication, planet of Mercury, right? So for me, I'm moving. I'm like, all right, then let's get down. So we also been studying the energy that's put on words. Like if it's a noun, if it's a verb, if it's an adjective, adverb, like it's got these, these emotions with it, these judgments with it. So I like it in its purest form when it's a noun. So we're looking at juice, right? Liquid attained by boiling herbs. Well, uh, Professor Professor Melanie, the spirit doula, hit a couple of weeks back with the marijuana. Boil that bitch. I, was, I mean, you smoke, don't inhale, just blow out, then breathe in. Breathe in the secondhand smoke, which is funny. Secondhand smoke will kill you. Especially the way it's put, if it's put out somebody else's mouth. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but coming out your own. Uh, but anyways, um, and just boiling herbs as well. So we got hella herbs as well. So shouts, shouts to the folk for that. Because when Negro Sosis came through and just, you know, the partner light bulb come through in the heart you know, and whatnot. So it's like, Oh shit, we already had herbs all over the place. So we boiling them bitches. Juice, sap, liquid, herbs, trees, tree sap, information from the trees, liquid obtained from the trees, liquid, manna, info, food for thought, all that shit. Nectar, the sweetness. So I'm like, all right, motherfucker, let's get it. God damn. The watery part of fruits or vegetables. So it was like, so for me, when I get the information about juice, we've been, we went and bought some grapes. Them motherfuckers went bad in like a day. We bought some other fruit. That shit went bad in like a day. So I'm like, I'm like, come on, man. I'm like, all right, y'all. The dream is the dream said juice. The dream said fucking juice. But the things I'm getting it's not hitting. So what's up? So we had to go and do it another way. And we did. Liquor, electricity, the electricity flowing through. Then I'm also like, eh, do we have to get some alcohol? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been drinking in a while. 
anyway but hey if it is we get that shit spit four ways and keep it pushing i ain't worried about it we go get a we go get a bottle or something so then juicing juicer steroids what kind of liquid were they looking to obtain the sweetness, the nectar, the HGH, the pie, the, come on, man, the melanin, all that shit. Well, whatever, whatever, whatever. Like, they got people for that. They got people who have broken all of that down. And I'm glad they did, so I wouldn't have to go. <laughs> Niggas broke that down, so you wouldn't have to go through that. So whenever you do read up on what you read up on, the connections are hitting a lot better for you and they're hitting at a higher state. You know what I'm saying? So everything is not just, oh, black people, oh, white people, oh, the government, oh, Christians, oh, the church, oh, the Pope, oh, the underground bunkers, oh, the Democrats, oh, Biden, oh, uh, Robert Kennedy is on Matt Hoffa, Matt Hoffa show. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, seeing the information today is hella hilarious to me now. Because it's like, you know, every generation, every iteration that we've been in, this it's always been like that. So I'm like, dude, I... <sighs> Anyway, so juice. Now, as well, what's some other information that we picked up on along the way? That this Jay ain't a goddamn ain't ain't shit on there, cause Jay didn't exist. Jay's did not exist, so it's you. You. So instead of juice, it would be use. Hmm. So you're going to go to that root, goddamn. Get that root up. So pour. Pour a libation. So. Sounds like we should go get us something to drink. And just like that. Now, this is hitting on shit that I know. Like, there's a whole bunch of... There's, there's some shit on this that I'm not aware of right now. That's the shit with this faith, goddamn. You see this shit? You see your synchronicities? You see your signs and symbols? You get that shit and you be like, all right, goddamn. We go get this shit. We're going to pour up. We're going to pour a libation. Hit them Bobby Hemmets up. Like, you spit your four ways, you do your thing, let's get it. Spirit gonna say what they're gonna say. Please believe. It, it really is like that, man. Like, shit, spit four ways and go shower. Let the water wash off that bullshit and shower you with spiritual ideas those cosmic ideas, those, those, those ideas that are here for your inner journey, that inner healing that you really, you really got there looking for. So. Alchemy. So in my dream, we talk about alchemy. It's not going to be taking place. <sighs> and it's been quite the couple weeks, so. It's been quite the time since that journey. Since that dream as well. Because I'm here to tell you, man, sometimes in these dreams, man, especially right before we wake up, there can be a... It's almost if whomever has the message... They are literally saying it, and I can hear it, 
feel it and I can see it. And it's in these, it's, it's like in a cloud. Shouts to, uh, is it Azazio Bay or Azariah Bay? Um, how do you say the name? This sir, this, this, this informational God right here. Sailing in my eye. Uh, right here. I don't know how you say the name. Say his name. Although I've listened to many of them. Shouts out to the uh, color therapy. The color magic that he speaks on as well. So. Shooting rays out the. 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 The, the violet. Come on man. So. Yeah. There's some shit going down. <laughs> gutters, drains. My parents asked me to clean their gutters two weeks ago. Or either they were letting me know to clean my own. You don't know until you sit down with it. You don't know until you sit down with it. So, yeah, man. With these words, especially if they're, especially when they're in your dreams, especially when you're looking at road signs or wherever you're working at, the road that you live on, the city that you live in, uh, when you're staring at a sign a little bit longer than usual, you know, you take a quick take. Like, we're so used to looking at low vibrational shit. That whenever we see high vibrational shit, we just lump it all in the same thing. Like it's all bullshit. But you pay attention to the signs just the way you pay attention to some ass. Like when you see some ass walking by, you look at that ass the same way you see that road sign over there that you've been seeing for the four, for past four fucking weeks. And that road sign, when you look it up, had been telling you that your grandma been trying to get in touch with you. That your homie's been trying to get in touch with you. That a version of yourself from the third grade trying to get in touch with you. So the same way you're staring at a pair of titties, it's the same way you're staring at that goddamn library that you've been wanting to go into. You know what I'm saying? Your answers is in there, but it's just like NBA 2K. It's just like my player when you're in the park. Motherfucker be like, do you want to go play the game? You want to go practice? Hell yeah, I want to do that. All right, now you got to do this fashion shoot. Oh, man, goddamn, man. I just want to run around the city and have fun. I just want to run around the city and have fun. I just want to shoot, do some three-on-three -three games, come back, play the game. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I put some money on my VC, get that shit up, get my shit right, be out this bitch off this scooter and in that, that go-kart bitch. I'm in there. But oh shit, something, my levels ain't up. Like even on there, you can tell when a motherfucker, <laughs> you can tell when a motherfucker paid to get where they need to go. You can tell. Like you ain't did no shit to get there. You just did some shit and then, you know, paid a little bit. Now you on 95? Oh, please. How you on 95 and it's only been out three days? Bitch, you ain't on there. You ain't on there. You ain't on there. So yeah, it's just like my player, man. You gotta go here, you gotta go there, you gotta do there, you gotta go down to the shop. You gotta go talk to this motherfucker. You gotta go talk to that motherfucker. You be like, oh gosh, why do I have to go down there today? I don't want to talk to those people. Those people are the motherfuckers that you had set up to give you exactly what you wanted. What, you didn't want it easy from everybody that you already know. You said you wanted to meet new people and have new experiences. Well, well, you also said that you were hoping them motherfuckers were going to change. Well, maybe you meeting them again because they have. 
Or maybe they didn't at all. It was supposed to be your change. That's the shit that I be on. Goddamn. So, yeah. Anyways. Be a hit. So we're going to pull up. Um. Oh, let, let me not come up out of here without them things. Let me take you to the more room library. And I know I'm loud as shit, but it's all right. All right, so got the more room library too. Got 15 gigs of books. They all up here. Uh, come through here, search in the drive. Let's go with breath. You want to go with breath? Mm. What you need? Come get it, goddamn. Come get it, motherfucker. They all in here. But you want to communicate with animals and vampires? How many vampire movies they done put out? They had the uh, goddamn, uh, what's his face? Not Kevin Costner. Shit. That is not him. Uh, Renfield. They had that movie out. And now you got the other movie with the, uh, with the brother in it. About that one. Yeah. Don't let them fool you. Self-healing. Third eye shit. What are we on? Let's go with sound. Sacred sounds, six healing sounds, breath work, Rosicrucian. Come on, man. Oh. Oh wow. I ain't never seen that. Oh yeah, that's that tribe shit right there. That's Discord. But yeah, these same here. Oh, come on. Okay. This one is. See, this was one of the first ones we got. And we kind of got one of the thing, one of the uh, messages to help me continue. Was when you listen to the lectures, Brother Panic, Bobby Emmett, Dr. Lee Mel Bay, um, Phil Valentine, Zazio Bay, Sister Mara, like, listen to uh, Miss Blue, Brother Blau, Black Magic, MG The Future, Kenny Mansa. Like, there was a, there isn't this, this form, like these, these set of, it ain't like it was when you grew up. It's not like religion. It's not like the program that you thought. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, when I'm reading this, I'm like, I was like, huh? but at that time, we were so, we were geared to receive that we had worked, we had, we worked towards that point. Fuck all that. We had done what we needed to do to get to that point. We have asked the questions that we didn't ask out loud. Because let me tell you, y'all motherfuckers have heard me talk. <laughs> you've heard me talk. You've heard me. You've heard me speak. You've heard me yell and try to convince and all that shit. You've heard me. Oh, you heard me talk about this shit forever. Now imagine the shit I was asking myself for real, for real. Like, I remember, <laughs> yo, I remember in my early 20s or maybe teen, late teens being like, man, you know what? I'd just be like, you know what, Jesus, man, fuck off. I'd be like, fuck all this, man. I'm going to sleep. If this shit ain't, if this shit is what it is, then I ain't waking up tomorrow. And this is over and I'm good and I'm done. And if it ain't, I'm doing my own thing when I wake up. 
Please believe. I remember doing shit like that. I remember getting saved. And then I remember like years later being like, man, hold up, man. Like, maybe like, why, why did I like, I remember questioning why I got saved. Like, what was the, pro what was the point of that? What was I trying to get from that? Like, this is, and this is before goddamn 5150 show and, um, uh, 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 Zoe Williams show, Zoe what? This is before Hidden Colors. Dr. Umar Johnson, I ain't know none of them niggas. I ain't know none of that shit, man. Even the Hebrew Israelites or um, Pan-African. Now, I ain't gonna lie, we've been, we, we had gone through some Pan-Africans. Uh, we had done some rituals way back when, unknowing, but yeah. But all the questions we had asked and answered and went to go seek the answers. We spent a lot of time in them churches, man. Because I was like, nah, man, somebody got fucked tell me what was up. I got to get this. Because I don't know, I just got to the point where people was way too tight lipped. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about trying to figure out where the hose is at. I was trying to figure out where my fucking holes were. Like, I'm, I'm like, nah, man, something ain't right. Like, I was, I was getting tired of trying to convince myself that maybe if I make $15 an hour, I'm going to feel better about myself. Maybe if I went to college, nah, yeah, that'd do it. Then you get into college and it's like, like you're like, I don't know what I'm doing here. Like, I know what I enjoy. I know what I like. I know what I'm interested in. I know what I'm interested in finding out. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I was like, nah. Give me a girlfriend. that will be it. Or if I give me a different set of friends, that will be it. If I move out, that's going to be it. I move over here. That's going to be it. You know what? If I cut my hair, that's going to be it. You know what? Let me try out this tongue ring. That might be it. They were all experiences. Every single one of them. And mind you, none of these experiences involved anybody else. Because even all those experiences incorporated other people. You know what I'm saying? They involved other, other energies or whatnot. And all those people we learned from. Every single one of them. The ones who were trying to heal me and the ones who were trying to kill me. Because the way I see it, every nigga got your back. Like, everybody don't know why they got your back. Some niggas want to hold you up. Some niggas want to, like, some people going to put a knife in your back. Some people going to rub your shoulders. Some people going to give you a massage. Some people going to try to elbow that bitch. Some people going to, you know, some people going to play fight. Some people going to give you a little push. You know what I'm saying? You might be falling back. Somebody going to hold you up. Like, there's all types of niggas who got your back. But we can't not. That's one thing. We cannot help but to give out game. Yeah. And for me, all this shit just opened up different avenues of things we had learned before, why we had learned them, you know? And also, the whole school is bullshit. Like, all right, as far as like how you were supposed to learn and what you were learning it for, the misinformation, like literally giving you a piano key or a tone or something that's not set for you. You know, that's why the harmonic tones, toning yourself, tuning in to yourself. So you're not singing off key, trying to sing in a key that's not designed for you. You know? If I'm singing falsetto, <clears throat> like I can change my, I can change my voice like this, and then I can sound like really good, and I can force it up here. But what the fuck is that, man? You better say your shit. I don't sound like that. I can make myself sound like that. Now that's code switching. Now there's code switching on an outer level, and there's code switching on the inside, where you know 
the voice that you were projecting was coming back. You know what you're feeling. You know what you're feeling. You know when your voice out of whack. I, hey, hey, guys. That is that is one of the things why when you get to a certain maturity, when you're around kids a lot, it's that's why I say, man, you got to get around some adults more. You got to watch more adult programming or you got to you got to get into yourself more. Because if you are around kids a lot, you're going to hear the child like as well as attract the childish. You're going to fuck around be like, oh, man, I don't know. Come on now. Come on now. We know what it was like with the kids between zero and seven. Then when second grade, third grade hit, when that goddamn ego start to kick in. You know, when it was five or six, they could walk around with their stomach out. You know what I'm saying? No shirt on or be over here, over there. And now they're in the second grade, third grade like this. Who the fuck? Like, what? Come on now. What vibration is that, goddamn? I don't know. You're receiving this shit already. Tone yourself up so you know what the fuck coming in and out. Tone yourself up so you know what the fuck coming in and out of you, man. So you know what you kicking out as well. So you you know what's in the center. That's you. So you know every direction. Every fucking direction and in between is taken care of. You flowing in such a space, such a state. You flowing in your state of mind, man. Goddamn shit. Write that shit down. Keep going with it. There's more. We got plenty of videos. And all our videos we got from other videos. I feel. I feel uh, much. I feel lighter. I do. So I would encourage any of you, um, whatever your medium of recording may be, let it be. Whether it's art, music, motherfucking drum machine, drum pad, drum set, guitar, microphone, finger painting, writing a book. Singing YouTube shorts and TikToks, whatever it got to be, express, express, express that shit that you say that you weren't able to do between the ages of 12 and 16. You know what I'm saying? Like between zero and 21, there was so much shit you had to do. Life or death. I'm going to kick you out if you don't do it. I'm going to whoop your ass if you don't do it. I ain't going to cook for you if you don't do it. I won't buy that car for you if you don't do it. I will buy the car for you if you do it. I will still buy the car for you if you don't do it. All the shit that we've been accepting. All the programs, all the apps we've been accepting year after year, day after day, second after second. And, mother, and that shit is not even true, real, not even close. That shit be wild. That a motherfucker. In an imagery, sailing in my yacht. Sailing in my yacht. Sailing in my yacht. Ah, yeah. I think I was text messaged. I was text messaged. Beautiful. My grandmother. Here she go. <laughs> what other text messages do we have?
Oh. Is it? So yeah, we will go over today. Singing shit, tones, got a couple books in there. Um, what else? More room library too. So you got hella books in there. Um, training your psychic mind, psychic development for beginners. I'm talking about step by step by motherfucking step, my guy. Whew, tell you, like visualizations. Time after time, you can work these daily, weekly. I'm talking about where you, you know, how you go in, close your eyes, you go into your mind and you walk to the elevator and you push the button, you go down. So you're going down into your subconscious mind or you're going down into your fear zone. You're looking at those fears, look at them, <laughs> close the door, then you go back up. And then you can rise up. You won't step off, go to another one. Uh, going down a staircase, a spiral staircase, your DNA, going down into your subconscious mind, uh, and placing someone, something down there that you feel has, or putting an emotion down there. Maybe it's anger, maybe it's guilt. Um, disappointment resentment you know and uh you go down there you see who in that motherfucker sitting across from yourself or maybe going to the what is it the beach of mm, is it the beach of time i think it's the beach of time in which uh meditate you zoom out rise go through a portal usually we can go through a portal or if we dive into an ocean we can go to the bottom of an ocean and come out on the other side of a portal um and we're standing on the beach we can walk this way walk right walk left this is where those eye movements really really help um, they really assist and get that boost and clear the way for you especially uh with calmness Goes in fight or flight in survival mode. You're, you're looking, huh, looking left, looking right. Who's around? I, I don't know. When you practice looking everywhere in your mind. So, yeah. Sure. I, there were um. There were ones in which you were writing certain colors in the sky. Or painting certain colors in the sky, painting uh, certain letters in the sky, just like a um, a plane would go by. Use that plane that would be uh, holding maybe like A, the letter A, and then you would watch it poof dissipate, and then come back in and dissipate. And those visualizations really coming through for y'all niggas who be on that goddamn Reiki shit. Y'all motherfuckers that be like, oh, do I feel it in my hands? Goddamn. Yeah, you can really feel it in your hands for real, for real. Now, there's some quick tips. You know, we can go real quick with that shit. You want to get that feeling in your hands? Bitch is there. Um, but believe I only talk like that and sound like that because I've done the shit, do the shit, seen the shit, seen it work with other folks and done the shit myself and seen it work and didn't even have to Go back and tell nobody else. Hey man, it fucking worked. No, nah, ain't nobody. I ain't. I ain't got to do it. You see how I just went out of my voice just to go up there to make a joke. You're not gonna be done until you die. So, other than that, still gonna be some shit on you. Um. Oh. Oh yeah, just search searching. Uh, you can go dictionary. What kind of dictionaries do we have in this one? 
Ooh, symbols. Ancient words and spells, alchemical symbols, metaphysical Bible, etymology, e etymological dictionary. Tell you, man. Encyclopedia of Crystal and Gems. Zolar's Magic. Mm -hmm. Encyclopedia of Occultism. You're finding those. Uh, it's more than just red like what's the energy of red that's where more room comes from me because i'm like man there's more room everywhere i go i can always find more room we've always spirit has always made it clear you can always find more room wherever you at there's more than meets the eyes there's more than what you see there's more than what others can see you just didn't know that people had so much shit fucked up with them when they was giving you game they say it's a dirty game, nigga. It's a dirty game because motherfuckers don't even know the type of shit that they spit out. I ain't even know the type of shit I was spitting out. I ain't know the type of energy I was pushing out to motherfuckers like that. Because I was pushing that shit out to other motherfuckers and that shit was coming right back to me. So yeah, Element, the Element Encyclopedia of 20,000 Dreams, those sorts of things. Oh yeah, and um, commune, communicate, consort your inner faculties of what you gonna be on to clear your mind up so when you getting this shit it's for your spiritual development and as well as when you won't be on some earth shit and you're like man i'm just trying to manifest some shit up trying to get this car real quick goddamn because this car is gonna be for that woo, woo, woo. well i need this house with these certain amount of rooms because i got woo, 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 woo coming and i got to have this motherfucking shit right goddamn now y'all line this shit up I'm going to pick this shit up on the way. All right? Bet. <laughs> One, two, three. Break. Fuck that. Psychic empowerment. Llewellyn. Yo, I'm actually, I'm so glad Hood Mystic said that shit because I had no idea how to say that motherfucking word. Oh, yeah, the level of consciousness, advanced Reiki healing, um, the alchemist, shout out Kelly, uh, astrology books, book of runes, Finding your own North Star. Because all these North Star, South Node, it's all inside. All this inside work. Well, they say, don't judge a book by its cover, as they say. Because the cover can do whatever it's got to do. That outside can do whatever. I can fix myself up the way I need to, to look a certain way, to give off a certain energy, to attract a certain amount of people to get money. Oh, don't think I fucking can't. God damn it, I've been an actor. <laughs> I've been an actor before. It's, 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 it's crazy to say that a motherfucker could do some tricks or shit if they fucking wanted to. Because of all the goddamn program we've seen over and over and over, human behavior. But that's not what we're here to use that shit for. I'm not here to just collect more low vibrational tools, god damn it. We are here to get the fuck out of here and make sure our niggas do not come back here in the same shit. Bro, I, I, if a nigga got to come back here, we ain't coming back here and no goddamn baby body to do this shit all over again for another 40, 50 years, 60, 70, 80 years. Hell to the fuck no, nigga. Now, nah, ain't no need to be all that. Get that fear up out of you. Demons and demonology. Come on now. Come on up out of here. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared, man. There's a price up on your head. Can't be compared, man. You're not like anybody else. Don't be the chance, man. <laughs> yes, they be compared, man. Don't be scared, man. Don't be scared, man. All right, let's hit something real quick. Werewolves and the connections to the entertainment you enjoy, uh, the connections to the movies you love to watch, love to see, can't help but look at. And this shit is cutting up. Oh, yeah, we can just go here. Encyclopedia of Ancient Deities. 
Oh. This is one of my enjoyables. He is Bia. You see all this shit that you be on. The children are Bia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Fibia. Now. Amphibia. Amphibia. Amphibian. Like, right? Reptiles. Those sorts of things. Hmm. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Because this shit uh, assists in coming out of a monkey mind of everything's fucking funny. Everything's fucking low vibrational. Everything is out to get you. Everything is a psyop. Everybody's a fucking reptilian. Everybody's a goddamn clone. I I am not here to worry myself like them fucking dumbass characters on TV. I ain't here to do that shit. Like, oh, too much information. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, God damn it! Sit still. Take a goddamn breath. It's just that easy. And I'm saying that to myself, goddamn. It's that fucking easy to just be like. To get in your goddamn zone. Just like that. Ooh. That's how the priest of, priest of Mars. Hmm. All right, anyway. Arabia. Otter. I'm gonna see what that is. Is that something? Mm -hmm. Cause the way, you know, shit's is broken down and put together. It's like just taking parts of words and putting them together. Yeah, aura. Okay. So I was looking at this. Arabia. God. It's a, like Arabia. So Arabia. Anyways. Could be, can't be. Oh, Benton. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Bia. What's what's that? Who, who? Right, whatever. Bia. Greek Egypt. Ancient Greek niggas. Gotcha. So also Morris. Look, man, whatever click you claim, get off that shit and go on somewhere. If you know it all, goddammit, then all right. Okay. We got you. Don't find yourself up here arguing with motherfuckers who don't know. Just saying, man, don't, 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 don't let it be that, man. We done done that. God, force, and violence. He and his brother Kratos, also Kratos, have Hephaestus, now Prometheus, to a cliff. They were great helpers of Zeus. Hmm. Another version tells us that Bia, violence, was the daughter of Nymph Styx, who was the personification of the river Styx in the Titan Palace. Bia was the sister of Zelos, Nike, and Nike or Kratos. Kratos. Helped the Avengers in the revolt of the Titans. So, I, I wouldn't even go. I, I, I didn't. We didn't see that before. I'll say that's new. I was going to go Lil Johnny and Eastside Boys. The song Bia Bia. Ka, Spirit. The spirit of and what kind of spirit that is and what kind of spirit comes through when you playing Bia Bia, Lil John music. That's all. Cool, 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 cool. Ain't no thing, ain't no thing. You know, as it can be on the highest, has the energy is 
how are you going to use the energy? You're going to use it for low shit? You're going to use it for high shit? What you going to do? You're going to be left hand? You're going to be right hand? What you going to do? You're going to shoot? You're going to pass? You know what I'm saying? Not saying that passing is bad or shooting is bad or anything like that. Let me use another analogy. Anyway, so this is the son of Naomi and Sasha. Yeah, I know the brother Tano. Be deprived of his inheritance by his younger brother, the poor land of Aruk. Oh, Shanti people. So, huh. The energy also of Nike. Why would Nike be one of the top things out here? And have their port in Seattle. On the west. Where they defeated something. With that energy of Zeus. Hey Zeus, Jesus, with no J's. So it's just hey Zeus, the energy of Zeus, that violence to overtake Titans. Now who's God? So over and fucking over. I got I, I'm out there, Luke. Anyway, I ain't hating. It is what it is. Hey, I could have been on the other side. I could have been, I probably done played both sides just to be on some, you know what? I wonder what it would be like to be a Titan. Hmm. Oh man, I live my life as a Titan. I bet I could go back and be a, hmm. man, we, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, God damn it. <laughs> no, 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 we good. We good. We good. We good. We good. No, we good. Goddamn, we good. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We good, baby. We are good around this motherfucker. Let's access that unknown energy, our feminine, and let's uh keep it pushing because no. No, man. Because I'm trying to the Bifrost. Are you sure? Yeah. All this shit. I think it was, uh, it was going through all the Marvel movies. Either right before Negro Solstice 2020. <sighs> Or maybe after, and that's when the Beetlejuice come in. Beetle guys. So it's like all that. Then coming back here to see these. Rethel. Home names. Sigils. Like, we have our experience. We uh, uh, we commune with our innards. So, there, uh, I ain't got shit to prove to be like, man, this shit work, man. I'm just gonna attract those motherfuckers who know what they be on too. That that goddamn man, you gotta believe me, man. Fuck all that. Nah, you ain't got to believe me because if you don't believe me, you still eating good. You still taking your showers. You still going to work. You still taking care of the kids and loving the wife or loving the husband. Uh, being a good use out here, giving back, making sure motherfuckers got shit on their back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might yell. You got traumas and shit like that, but I ain't tripping. But I ain't gonna... We ain't on that other shit, man. Nah. Nah, nigga. I go to the bathroom by myself. I'm straight. I don't need you to come with me. I don't got to go with you neither. I do that for the youngins. And even then, I know they, they ego going to come in and do what they do. So, nah. So then you can go through with the Bia and just attach if you want to. Or you can just see how that type of energy comes through in a certain Saudi Arabia. Right. What type of energy would be in there as well? Now, this is just the base. We ain't even went through the... 
you talking with the car, the spirit, that's the snake energy or the serpent energy, right? Be a be So the rise of the serpent energy, the rise of the kundalini energy, same shit, snakes on the plane, get them fucking snakes out of here, anacondas, anaconda, you know what I'm saying? You had John Voigt got down, he was a priest going down to get the snake people, the naga, the nigga. But it's just like, knowing that shit then, it's like, okay. We don't have to worry about that shit anymore. So even when a motherfucker come through on some, <laughs> you just be like, you don't know your own history. You don't know yourself either. I can hear it in your voice. Because another motherfucker who has gone to another level of a state of mind, Probably listening to me like that nigga got a little bit more the way to go. And you know what? I'm good with that. I'll be all right. I'm going to be all right, goddamn. But I appreciate you. So that's it with that. Um, Chats to it, rule on the track, goddamn. Oh, if you watch this whole thing, make sure you do some breathing at the end and ground yourself before you go on about your day. Uh, shit, I'd rather you send me an email on something. You got something to say? Email it. Got a question? Email it. You want to link up? Do a Zoom? Email it. Uh, if you have any... Uh, if you have persisted in your journey, and you've been in some shit like this. And you know what's up. You've done some breath exercises. Hey, put me on something new. You got some new shit? You got something about this uh, numerology I ain't been in? Hey, you want numerology? Come on through. You gone through some of these books? Go on through. That, 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 come, come on now. If you done it, let me know something. Let me know what it's done for you. You know what I'm saying? You want to come on here and speak on what it's done for you? I'd love to interview you. We have interviews on here. The More Room interviews, that's a tab on there. On YouTube, you can click on that. Watch some of those. Um, and see the type of... Uh, see what type of purpose it is. So you know what you're coming on here for. You'd be like, all right, this nigga going to ask these type of questions. So I like... For me, I enjoy... Hearing how people have used their tools. Because there's so many ways to give up. Right? Like this. Well, there's so many ways to give up, let loose, let go, and just be like, man, fuck it. Fuck it all. And just not, not try. You know? So for those who have been on your inside journey, um, shouts to you, man. And even on those who, hey, man, you you say you're struggling, but we got books in here to uh come up out that talk. Come on now, we got words to come up out them talk. How to direct? How to communicate directly with the subconscious mind from a place of heart, brain harmony, right on here. <clears throat> Come on now. Look, don't be mad at the church still. Don't be mad at the church still. Go to that, go to that person. Go to that version of yourself that went to church. Go to that little version of yourself that got touched on by the preacher. You know, fuck them. Like for real. But we got to move on, goddamn. Because there's Man, this motherfucker who got to hear your goddamn story, man. Niggas is out here on the brink of giving the fuck up on everything they fucking love, man. Tell your goddamn story. Shit.
I know it hurt. I know that shit hurt. I know people keep bringing it up. Or I know people don't bring it up. <laughs> people act like they don't care. Or people act like they care too much. All in your business. You can't discern between love and hate. You can't discern between a motherfucker giving a fuck or telling you to fuck off because all you hear is fuck. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. I've been fucked over too, my nigga. We smile a lot. Of course we do. I've been an actor. I've learned how to play the part. Survive. Yeah, we've done survival. I know survival methods. Like, just because you're on a goddamn spiritual journey don't mean you forget about your survival kit. That shit gonna be there. You need that motherfucker. It was built there for a reason. So, yeah. So many of these thoughts are not your own. These actions, not your own. But accepting, like, I had, I did it. I had, I said it. Not even the, man, I did, but I didn't know, though. You ain't got to do all that. Because who you doing the, but I don't know, though, for? Think of that. When you by yourself, who are you giving the excuse for? Who are you giving it to when you are by yourself and you know that you didn't do that shit or you know that you did that shit for a specific reason? Why the fuck are you still explaining shit by yourself? Who the fuck you arguing with? Who? Who could it be? Yes. You. Me. Me. I'm only arguing with myself. You're only arguing with yourself. arguing with the unknown energy. If you're masculine, you're arguing with your feminine side that you don't, that, you know, has been fed to you in a certain way. It's been downloaded a certain way. Pre, pre-downloaded programs, pre-loaded programs. You feminine and the masculine, what you searching for? Same thing. Ma masculine energy, how it was given to you. That's why ladies, sometimes when you bust a nut, you be like, damn, I just want to go to sleep. Hmm. Bust a nut, you dry up. Just, oh, that's it. We're done, nigga. That's all I was here for. Instant gratification. Pain, shame, guilt. I don't want to, I want to hide this. I want to hide that. I want to control everything. I want to set the world on fire. This ain't fair. That ain't fair. Jumping into different groups and shit. Like uh, many of these groups out here, just like goddamn uh, Marvel, niggas is moving out here like Marvel, nigga. Like watch it, just watch it. Well, you ain't gotta watch it, just know it. You seen it? The shit's happened every single fucking timeline, over and over and fucking over. All these fucking books, all this fucking, all this fucking information, all these meditations. They literally going to come back and tell you, nigga, you've been doing this shit over and over and trying to figure out why and how for so long. But you thought you had, you thought someone gave you the correct information. You thought when someone handed you this bag, it was straight. But it's just like it was when you was a kid. When someone handed you something and it was great. It was great when someone held out their hand and you gave it a high five when they put their hand up and slapped five. It was so fucking great. And then, God damn it, one day, motherfucker went just like this. You went in, that some bitch pulled it out. You fell, everybody laughed. And you said, what the fuck just happened? What, what the fuck just happened? Why did this happen? How could someone do this to me? 
So now you held on to that shit. What the fuck? Why the fuck? How the fuck? You ain't held on that shit for so long. Now when you get older, where the fuck? You got to go back in time. When? When? Point in place. Who? Who did it to you? That's your who, what, when, where, and how. Just like that. Using meditation to clear that shit up right there. I'm going to continue doing it as well. We've been doing it for a couple years now. And it's been working. So. I need to write that down. A little bit more. I don't know why I yell so much today, but. I'm vibrating more peacefully. So. Sometimes you got to tell the truth about yourself, man. Y'all be good, man. I'm going to have to listen to this one myself. Because I'm like, shit. Oh, we was in this. Yeah, nigga. Got a blooming flower inside you, my nigga. Whether your mother, a mother figure, whatever feminine energy told you, didn't tell you, made you feel it, made you not feel it, whatever it may be. The masculine and feminine energy, the balance, whatever you want to call that shit, the yin and yang, all that shit's on the inside. You've been doing the work already. Maybe aware of some things, unaware of other things. Um, just where you've been doing it from a low vibrational state. So check this out. We're raising our state to a high vibration. We see it from another angle, another level, another vantage point, another POV. That's it. Yes. Some things is going to happen in between. We're just looking at it from, dude, I've been living my life at a low vibrational spot. I just want to live it up from here. What if I'm thinking up and thinking these thoughts instead of these ones? Because usually it's, well, maybe if I move to this spot, or maybe if I move up here, or maybe if I work over here, or maybe if I drive over here, or maybe if I live near a lake, if I live near a beach, if I live on top of the mountain, maybe if I live down near the valley near the sea level, away from the sea level, over near the east, maybe in the west. All those places, all those places are in your mind. Every single place, because you start from right here, you're like, man, if I just move up here, I'm going to be all right. God damn it, you got to come right back to you every single fucking time, man. Every time. Every time. Every time your ass moved over here, you had to go. It's a continuous, continuous, in and out, ebb and flow. Sometimes your ass going to be over here. Sometimes it's going to be over here. But each time you passing through yourself every single fucking time. Everything you putting out coming right back. Every fucking time. Even when you hold it. You, st you still got to come. You still got to go back. You still got to flow. So might as well goddamn flow how you need to. Flow how you supposed to. Hmm. And we have enough uh, playlists on YouTube. You can get the gist of what we be on here. So it ain't it ain't no fucking secret. I ain't hiding a goddamn thing. Just some people choose to ask certain questions of me and some people don't. Those who know what's up, they gonna speak. And those who don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, we can talk about the weather. I'm fine with that. I know what the weather is. I can see it on my phone. I can even look up in the sky now. We good. We can smell the rain and see the shit coming. An hour, an hour and a half out now. So now maybe you'll want to talk about how I can do that. 
or how we can do that or whatever. Maybe you just want to talk about how hot it is. That's fine. Motherfuckers want to talk about some breath control, getting up off this goddamn planet, not returning in a basic ass level, some high vibrational shit. We're going to speak on that. So I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping not one fucking bit and neither should you and shouts to you who have it. Just reminder, you don't have to be angry at everybody who don't fuck with it like you do. You got to look at it like a relationship sometimes or just like you in the shower. Motherfuckers take showers every day. Niggas never get a call so don't have you take a shower. No, nobody care about the why and the how. And what? They don't care about none of that shit. They don't give a fuck about that shit. Ain't nobody ever been like, oh, you... Now, maybe for some low vibrational jokes and shit like that. But how you shower is how you shower. How you get clean is how you get clean. Nigga, you know how you got damn wash. You know if you've been washing your legs. You know if you've been washing your feet. You know if you really be getting in them cracks. You know if you're washing your arms. You know if your back straight. You know if you've been washing your balls and your ass? Come on, man. You know what you do when ain't nobody around and you feel free about it. Now, check out all the ways you cover up when you come out here. Now, of course, with the morals, moral codes in a community, in a group setting, we get it. We got you. It's okay. But be free, my nigga. And just know that they ain't been fucking with it like you've been fucking with it. Niggas might not fuck with Yoruba, Yoruba like you do. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay if somebody took Yoruba and only did missionary, but you did doggy style. Now, maybe you went from missionary and moved over to doggy style. They stayed in missionary a little bit longer. So maybe they have a little bit more facts. A little bit more information about the about the missionary. Now, yes, you used to do missionary too, so you got a little something. Don't hate on another motherfucker because they doing some shit that you used to be on. Now that shit to you ain't the shit no more. It's okay. It's all right. Just know we've watched a lot of TV shows, a lot of movies. <laughs> we went to school and church. So there's like 20, 30 years plus amnesia about the whole who are you and what you're here to do and all that shit. So take it easy on yourself. Keep conscious breathing. Uh, commune. Commune with your trees. Ground yourself. Continue to write. Uh, invest in the unknown energy of yourself. If you're masculine, uh, invest in the feminine energy spiritually, metaphysically, cosmically, as well as uh, if you're masculine, jump into the feminine as well. I mean, if you're feminine, jump into the masculine as well. So, uh, shouts out the hood mystic. So you won't be projecting this shit onto people who have no fucking clue what you're trying to do. And then you'll realize who you been, how you been projecting on niggas for the longest. Now you may think you just have your wife or your girlfriend, or you may have your husband or your your uh boyfriend, your nigga, your bitch, your kids, and that's it. No, motherfucker, you project on every fucking person you see. The bitch at the bank. The motherfucker at the school, the motherfucker at the at the at the office. If you've been if you've been on some shit for this long, that same energy is gonna be everywhere you go. Because you made sure of it. You made sure that you would manifest these things. You made sure that that was the school that your kids went through. You made sure that that was the uh, neighborhood that you went to. Why the hell am I still talking? God damn. All right. It's 528. It's my time. Oh, yeah. Uh, meditate during your birth time. Whatever time you were born, find out that time and meditate during that time. Um, and then that's two times a day. 
Meditate during your birth time, AM, PM, as well as your birth date. Take your birth date, turn it into a clock form. If you were born on July the 20, like today, you were born on July the 30th, you want to meditate at 7.30 at night and 7.30 in the morning. All right. Maybe your birth time was 8.15. You meditate at 8.15 a.m., 8.15 p.m. Those are four times a day you're going to connect with yourself. Four times. And we ain't even got to the days of the week that you were born on. Uh, all that type of shit. That's just four times a day. You can start off with that. Spend some time with yourself during your birth, birth hour. Let that shit flow through. I guarantee you you that some traumas is going to come up that you're ready to get through. I guarantee there's going to be some information there that your higher self is waiting. Motherfuckers waiting on your ass to come back. They waiting. They like, oh shit, this nigga paid attention. God damn, finally. Or maybe it's just me. Bye.